Assalamu alaikum beautiful people hope you guys are doing well having a great time this is me Shogramer and welcome to student gateway so today we are here with one of the another exciting opportunity and this time this opportunity is from the University of Tokyo Japan it's a fully funded opportunity and it is from none other than max scholarship and it is funded by the government of Japan it is for masters and PhD it's a fully funded scholarship for even though for the doctoral students as well so before starting this video if you haven't subscribed to our channel kindly subscribe to our channel hit the like button on this video and one special announcement which i have to make in this video that student gateway will be um, soon launching its own official website which will be totally different from all the other websites i would say and you guys will pretty much love it without any delay let's just start today's video as i said it's from university of tokyo and it is for masters phd doctoral there is no application fees and uh, japan university of tokyo the last date is 30th of october what is max scholarships um i really don't want to waste time on this i have explained so many times what is max scholarships how does it uh, participate with other, all the universities uh, in japan with the help of japanese government so we'll just it's a fully funded scholarship and if you talk about the global scholarships you cannot miss and you cannot forget to talk about max scholarships this is i would say it is it is a great scholarship so uh, it's a fully funded scholarships these are the monthly stipends which uh, students will receive tuition fees traveling cost each and everything will be covered even though your uh, tickets health insurance everything if you talk about the available fields and major physics uh, astronomy earth biology maths chemistry and the list goes on talk about the eligibility criteria this is the age limit and international students from all around the world any country who has diplomatic relation with japan and applicants must apply for the field of study that they have studied at their previous universities or a related field alice and toffel is mandatory ibg 72 or alice 5.5 or those students whose language instru of instru instruction at the school uh, or the university was English can submit English university can submit English proficiency certificate and another certificate for the students which will grant them exemption from the language test. If you talk about the deadline, 30th of October, how you're supposed to apply, you just need to kind of click on this link. When you click on this link, this is the page which will open up here in front of you these are the page which i would recommend you to study and after studying this page will be just directly jumping into the after finalizing that you are eligible or not we'll be jumping into the procedure of applic uh, uh, how we are supposed to finalize our application <coughs> and these are the two files which you are supposed to download at first i have already downloaded them as you can see right here let's just open up these files these are this is the field of study and research plan which you have to complete obviously you are applying for masters and phd so you are supposed to come up as a research student you have to finalize your research topic your study program in japan how does it relate how does it relate to your previous studies so these are the questions which you are supposed to answer so if you want student gateway to fill you all these forms for you you can contact us on uh, our uh, facebook page or on our whatsapp will be here to help you so we are basically we have hired uh, professional writers who do this so we have to pay them a little fees which will not be free so if you can do that on your own very good you can use the help from google but if not you can uh, come to us and we'll, we uh, we can help you uh, providing all the writing material this is another application form which is for max scholarship form and it is really easy to complete and fill out this form you can easily do that it's nothing mandatory just don't focus on the japanese written focus on english and answer the questions they have asked so after doing that you are almost done with two steps but applying to this uh, scholarship is basically um, i would say okay <coughs> two-step procedure this was the one-step procedure which is almost completed which you are supposed to upload your documents then you have to send your documents and how you're supposed to do that these are the list of documents which you are supposed to fulfill these were the two documents provided by the universities all these documents are supposed to be provided by the students or the applicants okay so after completing this you have to go to this page right here when you go to this page I would recommend you to study all these things 
after doing that I, as I said in the start of the uh, video there is no application fees then but why here they have mentioned application fees which is 10,000 yen but if you read this embassy recommended uh, Mont I, I, I don't know how to pronounce this scholarship candidates are exempted from paying the application fees as you can see applicants uh, for the university recommendation must pay the application fees so we are actually applying on behalf of max scholarships rather than we don't have any interest in the university so we are not supposed to pay the application fees after doing that you will come up to this uh, page right here where you are supposed to upload all the, these list of documents as you can see them right here you are supposed to upload these documents on this page you just need to click on here select a file select the, a single pdf file the procedure of the and the naming of the file is mentioned right here you have to convert every uh, duplicate and single into a particular single file um, and uh, which will be a pdf file you can you are supposed to rename the file and uh, just like this the file name includes application first and last name jane tokyo max documents dot pdf up upload your submission at the url below i have already clicked on this url this is the url i was talking about this is the first step of the application which you have completed but after doing this uploading your file immediately email international license office at the email address below to know them your file name your application status we will email you back in three business days and this is it shipment of original documents all these documents which you have uploaded are supposed to be sent by post as well to this following address under a single file after doing that one step is 100 percent completed after completing this step you are supposed to um, apply on the university's website as well which is a university's application form right here you are supposed to click on this form when you open up this form this is the university's portal of students who are applying to the university's different departments this is not about the max scholarships our uh, max scholarship form has been completed in these steps when we talk about this step application information personal information gre gre is not required so you don't need to worry about that if you come on this page and go down as you can see general test not required not required not required required on chemistry so um, statement of purpose personal statement if you guys can write them down these are the things which are which are the reasons for your selection and uh, rejection you can easily fill out these forms but if you cannot provide a 100% authentic statement of purpose and personal statement, I would recommend you to contact us or contact anyone, whoever you like, who can provide you a perfect state of statement of purpose or motivational letters so that uh, you can come up with a scholarship. So first name, last name, and these are the things which you are supposed to comp complete. And... Uh, so yes this is kind of it statement of purpose and personal statement recommendation letters upload 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 payment confirmation of the application fees you are exempted from the application fees so declaration confirm and submit so this is kind of it if you guys have still any questions doubt or whatever in your mind you guys can contact us in the comment sections below thank you so much for watching best of luck